Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Final Fantasy V! I am Rufal, playing this game for you! Woo! I've taken down a Mega Mark II, so now we just need to deal with the fearsome dragon. Which, of course, is to be found over this way. Discovering at the last moment that the ability that I want to have set isn't. No matter. Let's instead make our way to Shinryu's lair. Where we'll definitely want to, uh, be ready for things to come. To that end, there's a lot of dragons in here. Largely as a fire-breathing sword, just, just to really mess with us. That'll be okay. Rainbow dresses, in case something slaps us silly. Irritating. Let's uh, be able to deal with it handily. All right, let's go. Love having these realizations. Guard off because it'll be useful to float. Might be a full heart for you, and uh, well, screw you in particular, sir. Excellent. and deal with more of these wagons. Yeah, Paul's harp is a very good uh, thing for when you're fighting dragons. And right here, Almost everything we run into is considered a dragon. Crystal dragons are actually what I have the mix ability equipped for. 
Hello. Loot! So much stuff. Maximilian is, uh, the strongest arm armor in the game. Most weak. But, uh, it doesn't provide the, the status prevention that the Genji armor does. Alright, but with that stuff gathered... to actually just control the shield dragons. Pretty, pretty specifically because as, uh, when they're at low health, they counter-attack by running away. Just, so they operate on being annoying. Probably guess having dragon lances would be would be especially powerful around here. However, we do have we do have to be on the lookout for claret dragons, because mostly because when they die, they cast flare when they die, and we'll want to have reflect a reflect up in order to counteract that. But there's nothing over that way to, uh, to the right, so let's just come upstairs. Show more of these dragons what we think of them. Flip that switch and uh, get harried by even more dragons. Oh well. We are actually back where we started. So, let's come down this way and be attacked by the things which which claim to be dragons, but actually are not dragons. Yeah, great dragons and dragon avises are not dragon type. But the only enemies here are who, who aren't. It's very bizarre. Nice of them to show up. But... Take this ribbon and make our way back into the lava flows. Just follow this wall. Yeah, that knock silly is the confusion attack. Figures it's these shield dragons who have it. Nothing else. Now, cry for my amusement.
All right. Come up this way in order to get this box. And now we'll continue up the lava flows. Or it's here that we will be harried by even more dragons. Oh, here's where we will meet the fearsome dragon, and it's going to approach us in the same manner that uh, Shinryu did last time, by popping out of a box. So, we'll uh, definitely want to prepare for that. Thank you for cooperating, controller. I appreciate it. Yeesh. All right. Due to the nature of the uh, the fight with with Shinryu and with with uh, this dragon here, rapid fire is not only going to be not especially effective, it also produces provokes the nastiest counterattacks. So, uh, we'll want, we'll want this, because this guy's pretty evasive. Alright, Lena, what do I need from you? The white and blue... stuff up. Get in there and mix it up. As for you, Ferris, that's, uh... Mixing it up is going to be the whole of what I'll be having you do. Holy weapons. Could use Maximilian. Not entirely sure what which what accessory is best to use. Oh, I will go with coral rings, though uh there's a reasonable argument for angel rings. I mean, what would be ideal would, would just be uh Having, having coral rings and, and ice shields. Those work really well. The force shield uh, helps greatly on almost all fronts. get off the ground with immediately. Dare to open the box. It's a trap! Let's see. 
Maiden's Kiss, Dragon Fang, um, Kara. Because the drag, because that will make Kara immune to the Maelstrom. See why I wanted to be immune to the Maelstrom. <laughs> Dragon shielding. Yeah, one of the fun annoyances of this fight is that uh, we only see one dragon there. There's actually four targets. That's why uh, rapid fire doesn't work so well. Two of them, three of those are basically just straight up fake targets. Fourth one, which is the only targetable one, is the Arshinryu. But uh, he alternates between being invulnerable and being damageable. Just to really mess with their head. Ow. More ow. That's what the coral rigs are for. Are you vulnerable? Yes. Will you still be vulnerable when Boots gets this attack out? Yes. Like that punk. All right, now he won't be vulnerable.
Oh, he's grumpy now. Ow. All right. Hoorah. Yeah, that mute thing he did, that's... That's the cue that he's below 15,000 hit points. And, uh, it disables all magic except for blue magic for some reason. But, uh, it's also when Dio Shinryu will only attack and he hits hard. <laughs> Regardless, we have felled the dragon and gained Ultima Weapon. Hooray! Get equipped for, uh, beating things up on the way out. Because, reality check. <laughs> That's a really powerful sword. And, unlike every other er, high-powered sword, Ultima Weapon is not considered a knight sword. So, any sword-wielding class that is not a knight can actually use it. Which is pretty cool, to say the least. thing left that we can do, which is to, which is to be, sa be assailed by more dragons, clearly. Oh, it is, it is to make our way to the Cloister of the Dead. I believe that's what it's called. That middle door up at the, up at the very entrance of, of the Sealed Temple, before the Sealed Temple itself. You know, that area. Yes, there is something to... There is battle to be, to be waged there. That will be a tale for next time. We'll see you then. Later. One of these days I'll get out of this place. <laughs>